This video will cover the topic, writing an equation for a function after a vertical translation. Before we work through a problem together, let's review the meaning of a vertical translation. A vertical translation is when a geometric object, in this case a plot of a function, is moved either up or down from its original position. When writing a function that incorporates a vertical translation, we add the number of units we want to move it by to translate the function further up. However, if we wish to move the function downwards, then we subtract the number of units we wish to move it by. Let's try an example. In this example, we are being asked to find the new expression, g of x, when the original graph of the function, f, defined as f of x is equal to x squared minus 2 is translated vertically upwards by 7 units. Well, since we want to translate the function vertically upward, we need to add 7 to the original function, right? That's correct. When we do this, our function will now read f of x is equal to x squared minus 2 plus 7. Oh, okay. So our expression for g of x would equal x squared plus 5? Exactly. Just to recap, because we want to move our original equation 7 units upwards from its initial position, we have to add 7 to our original equation. Let's go ahead and plot our initial function and our final translated function in order to see this translation a little more clearly. The graph of our original function, f of x is equal to x squared minus 2, looks like this. In order to translate this function vertically upward 7 units, we need to take each point on this original graph and move it up 7 units. So that the graph of our transformed function, g of x is equal to x squared plus 5, looks like this. A function that looks exactly the same as our original function, f of x is equal to x squared minus 2, except that it's moved upwards 7 units. So even though the number being added in g of x is positive 5, we can see that the function is still 7 units above our original function. Okay, this is making more sense now. So first, we need to determine the direction of translation. Then, we either add or subtract the number of units the function is to be translated from the original function given, right? Yeah, great job! 